Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Elijah Punnett here with Top Tier Tears. I have with me my co-host returned from his vacation, El Prez. Yeah, that's why this video is late. Yeah, that. Uh, and we also have a bunch of people who all want to get in on the Persona 5, which is the set we're reviewing, the Persona 5 cast. A couple of them are regulars. We've got uh, Tim, Tom, the, are we, what, are we, what are we going with? Thomas the Dank Engine? Right now he's just Thomas. You can, be, the, you can, you can Tim be Tom Tim the Tom Bimbo. the Dank Engine. Tim uh, Tom the Dank Engine. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, Celad MB, uh, all the way from somewhere in Europe. Austria, I uh, thought. Yeah, uh, I mean Germany. Got... I I'm surprised you don't remember it because it's basically Australia, just with a few. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I'm you live in Germany. Uh, so the the point of me saying that is, I was about to say you're from Germany, but then I decided I didn't want to antagonize you, so I kind of <laughs> got in the middle. I Anyways. have no such reservations. Fair mm -hmm. enough. And our and our last guest is someone that we've been doing a few collabs with. Um, He's going by Penguin420, and he has his channel strictly broken. What up, what up? Subscribe, please. Thanks. Yeah, there you go. There's Wait, your free ad. What's the URL of your YouTube channel? Well, subscribe to Strictly Broken. If we get 100 subs, I can give you a URL. The, the viewers <laughs> want to go. If there's no URL, come on, man. Anyway. All right. So we're happy, happy to have everyone on the show. We're going to do Persona 5, and we're going to get straight into it. There's been a few reviews already, and I don't entirely agree with a lot of those reviews. I don't want to blast anybody, but I reckon that uh, we can provide a perspective that hasn't yet been provided. So we have our rating system. It's been done a billion times. I don't want to do it again. We're going to go straight into yellow, uh, because it actually has come around to yellow by my reckoning. And my, well, it, it is. It's actually blue, but yellow is the best place to start. Anyway. So the first card is Protagonist Narcene Joker. So this is the main character, Persona 5. This is his level 3. So it's a 9k for each of your other Phantom Thieves against 500. So it's an effective 11k. It comes in play and it heals, which is neat. There are a couple ways to cheat into plates, um, but all of them are from the hand. So he can, well, there's, there's the new execution, but let's not talk about that. Ugh. So, yeah, let's not talk about that. So he heals, and he's also got a Climax the Finisher effect. So I'm going to read the whole thing because it is kind of is kind of confusing. So, pay three and ditch your Phantom Thief character from your hand. At the start of your encore step, so after all said and done, if every slot in your opponent's front row is either empty or has a reversed character, you may pay the cost. If so, for every Phantom Thief in your front row, look at the top card of your deck and then put it on the bottom. Deal X damage where X is the level of the card you revealed. So you get to check the top card of your deck, put it on the bottom, and then... Um, there's no way that sh is the afterwards shuffle your library thing supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After all, after all of that, so you don't know what your three bottom cards are basically. Okay. Yeah. So you do shuffle. So basically, you check bottom deal damage, check bottom deal damage, check bottom deal damage, then shuffle your deck. So this is obviously supposed to be an all-out attack for anyone who's played the Persona. Series, Persona 3, 4, 5, anyway. Um, I don't, yeah, and PQ, yeah. I suppose. And it, at first glance, it looks pretty strong. There's three extra instances of damage, but I think there's a major flaw here. Does anyone want to guess at what I think the flaw is? Well, I mean, 50% of your deck is going to be level zero. It's not three consistent sources of damage. Exactly. 50% of your so, deck is level zero. You're going to miss 50% of the time. <laughs> Exactly, especially if you've got multiple protagonists, or, well, just trust me when I say you're going to have quite a few level 3 and 2 cards on the field. So, first problem is, naturally, you're going to have fewer level 0s in your deck than other cards. This is a this is something that we had a problem with in Excel World, and it's no different here. This is very comparable to Pure UK Hime, which is a card that a lot of people panned when it first released, and yet those same people seem to be rating this card super high simply because it's not a climax combo, and I think that's completely... Oh, I think I was super harsh on that Kuroyuki Hime. Yeah, you might have been. That card's not great, but it's not awful. This card is the same. I don't think it's great, I don't think it's awful. What I do think is it's the best heal in the set, and I do think it's the best random level 3 to have, because it is just 11k. And, and it is a feature. It's yeah, but I think the most important part is it's it's non climax tied. The Kuro Kuroyuki Hime is. Hmm. 
And because it's non-climax um, reliant, you can play other climax combos at level three, or specifically not play other climax combos, instead just ditching them from your hand. But yeah. again, we'll come to that. So, look, my verdict on this card is that it is playable plus. It is a heal. It can sometimes deal a bit of extra damage. Sometimes you'll just YOLO, Hail Mary, and win the game with it. But I think those times for any, any conservative player are going to be very fit. There are some um, people well, uh, who uh, they're, they're there's, hmm? Go on. Um, there is like a couple different things about Joker. First of all, you have like support to make him better, um, which we'll come to, like specifically to make this card better. But uh, yeah, there's some to... interesting situations you come into where you're probably like have a pants in your hand, and you're at three stock during your encore step, and your opponent is at like three, four, three, five. And then you have some interesting decisions on whether you basically try to kill your opponent or try to survive for another turn or make it more um, easy that you survive for another turn. Um, there are definitely some so, support for this card. So paying the three stock, uh, sometimes you don't want to pay the three stock, but like when you uh, when you somehow have four stock or whatever during your encore step, this works pretty well like as as additional burn um, effects how, how stock hungry is the current builds of persona uh you have like one huge joker usually it works exactly that like what my yeah. experience was is that i either have to use joker's effect or have to uh, keep my stock for a pants and like I usually keep my stock for a pants and then go for Joker the second turn. Sure. Um, my my rating for the card is also gonna be playable plus the being an early play healer or technically early play healer, but even just being a three two eleven k healer is fine rate. You will play it just because, and the fact that it has an added benefit of being a non climax side finisher is just always a good thing to have. The effect on average is only gonna be pinging for about one damage for the three stock that you spent, which is not great. I think it's actually two. Is it two? Yeah, I think it's more likely. Like, your average will be about 1.5. Because you're running, like... what, like, 11 level ones? 12 level ones? And then 12, 13... I guess you're looking yeah, at an average 1.5. You're seven, looking at, on two. average, like, one and a half hits with an average level of one and a half. So... Well, um, no, the thing is... The thing is, um... Uh... You actually... Will, be I, the thing is that you have a support that gives this card uh, on reverse top check. So you're basically looking for cards deep. So yeah. it's really more yeah, right, sure. like right. you only get one card extra, but that is one. Card. I, I can do the math later, but like the way it seems to pan out, it's like you're looking at about doing probably two damage for the three stock that you've spent. That's what it seems like, just doing it quickly in my head. There are a couple ways to increase the likelihood of this hitting that we can touch on later, but I don't know if those are worth running. They're very it's, it's very space hungry this deck. Yeah, so playable plus is what I'm giving it just on the virtues of being a good healer and then having a nice bonus effect. I don't uh, think it's something that you're what, running the full four of. What's our uh, definitions of good again? Uh, you're starting it in a list. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, then let's do playable plus. Yeah. yeah, playable plus are cards that you'll put in because you know you have no other good choices. Uh, but you're never going to be like, this card just wins me the game constantly. Like, I think it I should be noted that you never play four of this card in your deck. You know, it seems wrong to play four. It doesn't seem right at all. I don't think so. I don't think four is correct, even though this deck, this card itself, benefits from having more of more copies of level threes in the deck. I'm I'm just not convinced you run four of this. It is it's fine. Like, just I think if it wanted a four, how expensive is it? I think if it wanted a four Tila, I'd try one copy of the Haru. If mm, I'm that, already green. That card is... I wouldn't play... I not wouldn't play very that good. Yeah, that card's not good. That, that stuff what? isn't worth that investing. That card's not very just good. Play another I don't know I don't know if you've played, like, Futaba and Haru. I have, it's and I never pretty, used... I've never used serious. Haru's effect. I've never used Haru's effect. Dude, I'd, ra I'd rather try to do two of the, two the <laughs> back row than w one Haru, one of the... You know, like, it's just not worth it. I've played LB Twins with the option to both run and anti-front, and that's really win more. Like, I don't think that's something I really want to do often. You guys are weird. <laughs> Alright, moving onward. Alright. 
Uh, so the next card, look, I just want to look up the price of Joker before we move on because it's it's probably I know still it's three four eighty. Oh, three four eighty, and this one sure. is two hundred yen. All right, so that's three four eighty. a second card broke at the thousand yen mark. Can you guess which one it is? Uh, Fox. What, what? Was it? Yeah, Fox? It's Fox. Oh my god, yeah. it's Fox. That's that's kind of funny. It's also Meanwhile, sold out. Navi is the third cheapest. Anyways. Good stuff, Japan. Good stuff. Next card is All Out Attack Yuju Skull. It's another 3 2 yellow. When this is placed from hand to stage, check the top three cards of your deck, add one to hand, ditch the rest. And when Freaking Boring is placed in your climax zone, uh, Freaking Boring is the wind. No, no, is it? It's the Stock Soul. I think it's the Stock Soul. Pretty sure it's the Stock Soul, right? Stock anyway, Soul, yep. Yellow Stock Soul. Uh, when that's placed to the climax zone, if this is in the front row, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, bounce up to one of your opponent's characters, then choose one of your characters with either Phantom Thief or Sports, and that character gains 1k and Cancel Burn. Yeah, this card is 200 yen for a reason. Yeah, that's not a very good effect. Uh, there are there are applications of this card. So uh, you might remember that Joker requires either MT slots or reverse slots. Sometimes your opponent will have big cards that just can't be dealt with. Uh, and Red Skull Heart. can yeah, Skull can deal with well, this. No, can, you can't, can't deal with this, Redheart, yeah. Redheart can't deal yeah. with it. I mean sorry. Yeah. This can't, this deal, can't with deal with Redheart. Redheart. Redheart's expert. Yeah. Yeah, it can't uh, deal with Log Horizon. Um, yeah, it can deal with Log Horizon's bodyguard. It can deal with that terrible Kisniva bodyguard. It can deal with <laughs> a bunch of things basically. And uh even with that, I don't think it's worth running. There are better combos. I, I say combo lightly, but there are better cards to be running at level 3. And there is better use of your combo space, if I may say so. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even sure you run this if if like, if like it was a bounce on play. Like, maybe you run it then, but since it's the bounce is on Climax combo, and you have like a bunch of things you'd rather run at 3, uh, it just yeah. doesn't is often not even worth it for the dig, like for the check top three, which is fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I don't think you need to be looking at so, the top three for sure. I don't think you need it, and I don't know if if this card is like worth running. Ever. No, I don't think it's worth running. No. In the complete lists, your your space is actually pretty tight between level two level and level three. <laughs> And... I want to rate this bad, but I, I think I'd give it niche because some people who want to actually focus on doing trip, uh, triple or double joker actually can't even do triple joker with this. Oh no, you can. You could put but it you in the back like... row, but that feels real bad. Doesn't it have to be in the front row? No. Joker. joker oh no, it, is, it does need to be in the front row, but the joker can be in the back row, I think. For people who want to quad joker people, this card is playable. <laughs> no. It's, it's just playable mandatory. In sports. Okay. Playable it's just, sports. It's also. I it want is to see a video sports, of that makes it niche. Joker. That doesn't make it good. I think well, niche well, is sports is a niche deck. Also got a three, a third color now. I think it's also a 2480 Mamoru Miyano sign. I think what it's worth. I think niche is fair. I don't think you're starting on this card. I don't think you're filling with this card. It honestly sucks, but I have to give it niche because it does go in the sports deck. Anyway, I mean, because your other sports finisher is. It doesn't need a climax combo, so it's all good. And your other spots, it actually synergizes with the other spots finisher. Mm -hmm. Somewhat. A little. Not really that much. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, like I said, niche. Not niche plus, not niche minus. So, next card is the Soul of the Betrayer Protagonist. It's a 002k Brainstorm. Uh, every time you use a startup ability once a turn. Oh, so, once a turn when you use a startup ability, rather. <laughs> Give a character 500 power. So that includes brainstorms, that includes counters. Brainstorm, pay one, tap two, uh, mill four, and for every climax card uh, you hit, search for one Phantom Thief. So it's your typical Generic search. And storm. Plus. Yeah, typical yeah. search brainstorm. Um, I think that uh, P5 will be using the brainstorm quite a bit. Is this better than the Yukiko, though? Yes. Yes. Oh, it has trait. It's on trait. Yukiko is not a Phantom Thief. Yeah. Yeah. Traits. And I keep forgetting yeah, Persona so is one of those few sets where trait is actually a deck building constraint. <laughs> this, the problem with this deck is that it has Azusa, 
like the deck pretends not to have us, but it does have us. So trust me. And that only takes Phantom Thief. So you can't get the Yukiko Brainstorm. You can get the Protag Brainstorm. Okay. And yeah, that that straight up makes the Protag Brainstorm better. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I can't, it's it's just like the most awkward thing about playing Persona is that you want to be playing with the old cards, but every time they release a new set, it says here's a new trait to build around. Look, I I gave up trying to upgrade some of my old decks that aren't sports. Like I'm just keeping my old execution deck, and then I'm going to uh. I'm going to make an entirely new execution deck. Because... I mean, there's some events that you can run from the older sets, like the Jack Frost counter or Terror Reading. I don't think I... I'm not sure that's relevant when you can just play Futaba. Yeah. Uh, play I'm not sure, like, being grabbable by us by the event is, like, the only thing that's... or the most important part about this way you run this over Yukiko. Like, you need to have a full field of Phantom Thief for the thing, for the for your 2-1... Yeah. Basically, your level one combo. Uh, yeah, the tra- Yellow the is also matter. a better color to fix for right now than red. In yeah, the because you don't run red. Yeah. Yeah, you just well, don't run red, period, right? And, like, I don't know, the 500 comes up. It's, like, way more clutch than Yukiko. Like, yeah, it's like, five power. Yeah. Yukiko is yeah. a really good card, but a bunch of circumstances make protagonists better. Uh, this deck mills really fast, so if Yukiko was a Phantom Thief, that, uh, that just was Yukiko, but Phantom Thief trait. Somehow, I, I, I might play that one over this, but she's not, and that pushes this one over. Regardless, you... playable plus the card is kind of boring. It is boring, but it's still playable plus. I mean, you're you're gonna run it. You're gonna run like probably Charging three. Demon. All right, next card: Charging Captain of the Phantom Thieves, Yuji. So one zero two five gives all your other Phantom Thieves and Sports traits five hundred power. And, okay, so this is the new mechanic. It's, like, related to the whole Take Your Heart thing, Persona 5. When damage dealt by your direct attack is not cancelled, choose a face-down card in your opponent's memory. Just, uh, for now, assume that this is easy to do, like getting them to have face-down cards. And then put that card in the waiting room. If you do, search your deck for up to one character with either Phantom Thief or Sports, reveal it, add it to your hand, and then discard a card from your hand to the waiting room. Then shuffle your deck. All right, so straight up, I want to just say that this card is... It's worse than a specific level zero red support with a very similar effect. It's um, not basically purely comparable because this one's costless, that one is not, but I think that one is better for all sakes and purposes. Basically, what this not, not what this card tells you, but what you can assume is if the card has skull and a mask on it, it probably sucks. <laughs> True, actually. Every every skull every skull card that's played, and there are some really good ones, are him in his casual clothes without a mask. <laughs> yeah, like there are some there are some outright busted cards in the set. One I, of them being well, we'll get to it. But... I feel like he's doing his best kanji impression. He's trying. He's trying very hard. I'm not. I'm still not sure why they printed this as a rare. To be honest, when all the other cards of the cycle were uncommon or common. Uh, but... You ask Kidani, not me. I don't think Kidani knows either. Um, this card is fine. I mean, I don't think you run it. I think it's still it's playable, niche. actually. I think I personally still give it a playable rating. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's there's uh... spicy applications with this card. Like, keep in mind, like if you actually um, what's it called? You're level three, you make a direct attack, and your opponent doesn't cancel, you can search a zero and increase joker probability, so... <laughs> Shit. So, I, I, I think the card gets a playable for me. No, I'm on I'm on niche. I don't I think, think this card is as good as the red one. That's I fine. think you only play this in sports. Well, no, you don't even, you don't no, even, you don't even play this in sports. I don't know where this is. Because you be. don't have the event, yeah. yeah. In sports, you're like... <laughs> What are you doing? You're paying one. Pay, um, you're playing that event to mill four and take no characters because you have no phantom thieves in there. Wait, the other events don't work either. Oh no, the other events work, but why would you play them in a yellow green deck? Wait, can't you play the other events uh, in sports? I don't know. Well, sports is traditionally yellow been green deck. Green. You can like play the clock kick event, but does the clock kick and event have something? To... Wait, did sports have a global before? Sports. Uh, it had Chie, which was a 500 in front, and tap to give 1k. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Yeah. 
Which is better than this, because you can also run the Junpei counter anyway. I guess that's fine. Moving onward. Alright, so next card, Ryuji Sakamoto. Uh, he's a 1045. He is a Ellie clone, or a Taige clone, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, he gains 500 for each other, Phantom Thief or Sports. See, this goes in the Sports deck. He's playable. It goes in the deck. He's a 1065. It's a solid play. It's a costless speeder that you play at level 1. Too kind of lame and you have here. a and you have a costless 2k oh. counter to defend it with. Yeah. But lame is the rating for me. <laughs> also, you play it because you have you don't really have better cards to play in this slot. Yeah, so man, zero choices. You suck it up and play it. Yeah. That's fine. Ugh. Um, so boring. Yeah, you are correct. It is very boring. Um, what was I going to say? I would like to point out the 1-1 one, one Junpei isn't actually sports trade, which makes me angry, but that's okay. He plays right, baseball. Next... Wait, what I is know. the second trade? His defining think... characteristic is baseball. I think it's... Whatever. Uh, he does play baseball. That's his thing in P4U, and it's not actually his thing in P3, so whatever. Wait, he still played yeah, baseball in P3, confused. didn't he? All out attack protagonist, uh, 2 1 7k. If you have four more other Phantom Thief characters, this gets neg one level in hand. When the battle opponent of this is reversed, if you have the shows over in your climax zone, which is the wind climax, and you have four more other Phantom Thieves, you draw a card, then search your library for up to one level one or lower character and add it to your hand. This card is dank. Yeah, so it's a, it's a plus one even if you only have one, because you technically get plus two if you don't count the climax play. Which is pretty good. I would. I usually don't count my climax plays when I consider these effects, just because the climax is doing something in play, which is the soul rope. The soul pump is relevant. It doesn't do anything fixed in terms of cards, except go neg one. I mean, so sure. In terms of raw card advantage, sure, it's a plus one on the first one, and then plus three on the second one. This is the only thing that's awkward uh, about this card. Plus it, two. It's plus, plus two, two because you have to play over something, and that's the awkward thing about the card. Mm-hmm. Uh, you also I can't think... search anything for the late game. You just have to kind of hope you draw it off oh, of this card. That's a brainstorm and... later. Yeah. So what you can do is you can search your quote-unquote Azusa, and then you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That too. Yeah, I mean, trust me, like, I, I think the, like, you either search the counter or the Azusa. Sure. I don't think I've ever searched anything else unless I had like no targets in my deck because it was very really small. Uh, how many Sometimes... events are the Persona decks running right now? Four. Uh, four. Just four. You can run three, but I think if you can fit four, it's ideal, right? Like, sure. I think yeah. you run four. Also, drawing I... extra extra pants isn't really a downside anyways, because you will probably yeah. be pitching them in. So, like, no matter what you draw, the card is going to be good, and then you're going to be able to search the filter anyways, because let's say you didn't need the climax, you drew the win, you can always just, you know, discard it to something else later. This card is, I think, a starter. You're starting on four, so it, it gets the good rating for me. You're starting on... One or two. Or really? Probably two I'm or starting three. on three. I, st I Like, two is too inconsistent. I never get the no, card. I, I, you um, always I, get I this I feel like this is the kind of card that I want to see every single game. I think, yeah. I, mean, yeah, I, but I, I want to, like, want to start field. with this at level one. Keep in mind it's a level two, guys. Like, I think three is right. Because, like... Three is fine. Not, so even if you can hit this on Joker. That is that is the main reason you want it's to It's also Soul Trigger. Dude, Soul Trigger doesn't matter. Soul Triggers are a downside, dude. Not a good or bad thing. Like that's just a thing. I don't know. This is the card I want to make sure I see every single game. Cause... Yeah, but you're only playing one on field. You're not. Yeah, but once, once you see two, you're like I lost. So why would you want to perform? Like if you see I, two, I'm generally can't... okay with drawing multiples in this kind of game, you're anyways, because not... you can clock it. Yeah, you're but not... so you don't uh... care if two. exactly. You have no. also, so you don't. I still wouldn't play four just yeah. for the fact if I draw clock and draw two of these, I'm like it's a brick. It's a no, brick but draw. you see, yeah. you don't. I don't know. I don't I build don't my deck. Don't for four. Yeah, but I think a you two, you just four. don't get it enough. No, I think three is perfect. So, like, two is not yeah. enough, four is too much, three is perfect. Yeah. I don't know. This card still gets a good for me. I don't think there's a climax combo that's really going to be as good at this at plusing at this stage of the game. But also, is, unfortunately, it costs Doc. That's, like, the only strike I have against it. It's okay. You barely use Doc in this deck. Until like late game. That's like the only unfortunate thing. It costs stock, but that's fine. I mean, yeah, but you can like, like it sort of protects itself. 
for searching Articana and that it's pretty big. This combo continues to be relevant at level two as well. Don't uh, there, don't there, discount. There's free two K counters, right? Yes. Yep. All right, cool. Yeah, you're, 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 you'll actually probably get more than one activation out of this in a lot of games. You possibly yeah. could, yeah. It's so, and I think it's, it's, it's definitely worth inclusion. Big. Absolutely. I mean, and it's bombproof against every deck that isn't specifically Persona, ironically, because Adachi skipping out on work. I mean, there's the Gotchi yeah. Gotchi user has a anti level counter at level one now. Uh, um, so does Love Life, I guess. So does Clanad Love. as well, but like. But I mean. But you see, the Adachi is actually playable. <laughs> My friend was BMing uh, some... The Kachunsa one is good. Some dude. And it just got anti-changed. My friend lost, so it feels bad. <laughs> well, yeah, it's good. Look, the... this card, I'm not giving a good. I'm giving a playable plus. Sure, I'm I... still giving it a good. I'm giving it a good. Think... What? what? How's it not good, dude? This is a good card. Because sometimes you just don't get to do anything. Sometimes it's just a 2-1. Well, that's every Clamex combo ever. Look, well, you... it's worse with this mm -hmm. card, because it's still just a 2-1 in your hand, it's, as opposed it's... to other Clamex combos, which are 1-0s, at least. But yeah, sometimes so the people people sometimes play... you can reverse shit. Like, what's that card in uh, Idol Master? Some people play that zombie card because it's a 2-1. Oh, AK. God. It's zombies. A two no. Like, of zombies course you're not supposed go. to play that zombie card. But I'm just saying, like, this card, you can play it if you don't have the climax, it is still not a bad card. Look, if your opponent has nothing but a runner, and you're going, look, so Persona goes through their deck super quickly if they want to. So you're either going to sandbag this until your opponent gets a swing in, and then you might be, like, most of the way through level one, and then you might draw and you'll have to go through the rest of your deck because you need to discard, you'll need to shuffle, you'll need to whatever, look. Point is, if you can't get this first turn at level one, it gets significantly worse. And sometimes you're just not going to have that chance. Sometimes your opponent's only going to have runners. Sometimes, like you, you only have one lane with this. Sometimes you just can't hit them. Well, it's not even. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like your argument for Excel Ward being good is that it only needs one reverse. This also only needs one. Yeah, reverse. but Excel doesn't need a climax, so that's you know, also that and, like, with Excel World, it's also not a costed card. That's just, like, look. Yeah, there are a few drawbacks to this card, but I still agree that it's extremely powerful. It's, uh, if you discount the Climax, it's a plus two. That's very good. And then it's a 7k, which isn't terrible. Like, you do have ways to buff it. And the other thing about Excel World is it's freaking, like, 11k if you want it to be. This one goes to maybe 9.5. 95 is 95 is enough to strike over the biggest of walls that aren't like that don't have the counters available to them at the moment. You'd hope so. You'd really hope so. Because like the biggest walls that you're gonna be running into at level one are, are 9k unbombables. Uh, uh Kantai can get bigger than that. Kantai's pretty but, big. Yeah. Milky. Oh, Milky wait. also gets bigger than that. Yeah. Uh, I generally Kantai, just favor things with unbombable. Like if you if you have the thing if you have Shimakaze Kai, uh, Kantai doesn't get counter safe on every lane. No way. Not even with Ashigara. Lane. Why no, would they counter nine, anything? Nine it's five safe? isn't counter safe. Like nine no, like, five the is thing just is wall they, safe. They can't counter over a specific. Like they don't have three uh, Bismarcks out. They don't get over this. Really? You oh. ten five. If no, Prince right. just you goes to ten five. Yeah, you're right. This does go uh. to ten five. Yeah, no, that's fair. If they have the 1-1 one, one counter, then this isn't safe, though. No, with the 1-1 one, one counter. The 1-1 one, one counter uh, pumps Prince to 10-5. But it doesn't pump... Uh, like, it pumps uh, Bismarck to 11k, but he won't fulfill Bismarck. Okay, sure. Sure. This okay. card is more than fine. Like, I'm still playing it. I'm still going to run it. Yeah, That's already... It, it passes for me. I just don't think it hits the good mark, because it's... Yeah, I'm not sure are... where, we, where exactly we set the good mark. I, I don't think you start with this either. It's just a good card. I feel like you're good. I've, like, I watch your videos for a while. I think your good marks got gradually, gradually harder to be good. Like, you guys rated some pretty dang things as good back then. And like, <laughs> Well, that's because cards have gotten better and better. Well, no, no, no. It's like you rated the Armin move in AOT as good. And this card is playable plus now. Yeah. What the f What the heck? <laughs> I'll change. What can I say? Ah, uh, sure. But I'll, I'll give it good. I think card's good, so whatever. I think card is good. 
I'd also like to note that I think we should make counter safe an official term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, if you can institute that, I'm happy. Yeah. Um, All right. Moving onward. Wait, wait, is it not? No. Why would it be an official term? I've never heard it before. We just have, right. we just have the benchmarks that we always aim for. Next card is Ryuji and Captain Kid. Uh, two one seven k. When this attacks, the level of the character drops is three or higher. This gains six k. And when the battle of the opponent of this becomes reversed, if you have the shot climax in the it's shot climax, it's got to be the shot climax, right? Yeah, if you've got the shot climax in the climax, yeah. Hmm? yeah, if you've got the shot climax in the climax, then you can bounce one of your characters or one of your other characters and one of your opponent's characters. So Up. theoretically, it's a repeatable pseudo bomb for level threes. It's going to be fourteen k with the shot, at least. Yeah. You're not going to play the shot, but that is... I also factual. probably wouldn't play this, but, you know, that's just me. I mean, what you're saying is factual. I just don't think this card is... I don't it's think it's worth playable it. minus. While you, you don't actually have a better way of dealing with early plays... If you need to I don't kill level you run threes... This. If you I dang, care about you, used to, you used to give these an instant bad. I did. But then, I don't care. Look, they what actually you are do... instant bad because <laughs> they suddenly printed level threes that were worth killing. Look, you I can still play think like, they're uh, almost largely instant Joker. bads, but whatever. You can play Joker. You can play the um, the Joker support, and that is a two K support for your two one combo. As a point that of reference, it does follow the rule: has mask on sucks. Yeah, he's got you there. <laughs> like the card we just talked about, you can easily make that into an eleven five with um with the Joker support and a Shimakaze Kai. Like that's, okay. that's with quite that easy. actually with that, that's enough for me to shift this down to bad. <laughs> I don't think this is I still we'll just has right. an unjustified hatred of this archetype. I think it's pretty justified. Playable minus. I think it's pretty justified, yeah, my, my dislike for this archetype. Have people been playing this card? That's my question. I don't play it at all. Like, I don't know if anyone. Uh, I, I, think I don't think you play it, but I think it's an option that's I considerable. Berate, I give it niche. I wouldn't berate you for playing it. That's that's my yeah. thought. I would. I would. <laughs> I think if you give me the reason <laughs> Kidding that me. you want to increase the Joker probability, I would, I would agree with you. But otherwise, if you're saying I'm killing early plays with this, then I would. I don't know. It. How did that. 34 level 3 deck go. It I lost to the English fairy He didn't tale. even play it. <laughs> he played a deck that he just sold after the tournament. Alright. Next up. Feels bad. Let's move on to uncommon. So, full of smiles, Yuji. It's a 0, zero 500. Your front row center slot character gains 500 power, and at the start of your main phase, you may mill one. If it's level 2 or higher character, this gives the middle... Well, it gains the following ability. Your other character in the front row middle gains one soul. Uh, yeah, you're not running this. Hey. There's no room for a card like this. Protect that smile. Doesn't do enough. If it mm. eats up slot from your deck and doesn't do anything. Does it even get the niche rating? No, I think <laughs> if this is in your deck, no, you're, you're building the deck wrong. Bad. The smile yeah. standard deck. Can be Kaiki, bad card. I just don't think this is good enough to make the to make the cut. That's all. Moving onward. The blank is freeloader protagonist. Uh, when this is placed from hand to stage, mill two, and this gains X power, where X is one thousand times the number of phantom thieves you milled. Uh, then it has an ability. When this is placed from hand to stage, return two characters from your waiting room to the deck and shuffle that deck. When this is placed from hand to stage, you may pay cost. If you do, this gains one soul for the turn. So, I don't think you need a beater like this. It's it's not so it's much a beta, a beta way to shuffle level threes and twos back into. It's your like deck. a super fringe case to increase the chances of Joker hitting cards. If you want Turbo Joker, then maybe this sees play. That's the only thing I can see to see in play. I, at best, then it's niche minus. It's for the protagonist deck, I guess. It's really sad. It doesn't okay. even have to be protagonist deck. It's just the deck that wants to just. Yeah, that was Joker. In Joker. <laughs> but it's like even in Joker, like this still feels bad. I mean, think about. Uh, I mean, so you 
You put three of these in your front row and two jokers in the back. Oh god. But then how are you reversing trigger, anything? Trigger three, and you trigger three wind triggers. <laughs> He's got you there. That's that's definitely how to play this. Look so, at all that value. And you oh. just triggered climaxes, so that's less level zeros to proc on joker. We've gone straight into meme mode. Uh, this is a niche card. I'm not going to... I'm not going to enable your memeing any further. Wait, if you're the protagonist in this game, why are there so many front views of him? Isn't that like, isn't that like breaking the fourth it's wall? It's like all promo art. No, not really. It's like, you are the protagonist, but it's visual novel style, so oftentimes, like, whenever you're making a decision, or whenever you're part of the conversation, you'll appear. You won't say anything, but that's just how it is. Hey. Oh, so in like the status screens, in the, um... In the main menu, uh, you've got you see yourself. Oh. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm giving this card a niche rating for those specific protagonist decks. I don't think protag's actually strong enough to warrant going full. I'm just gonna say full retard, but uh. There's no, there's no real payoffs. Yeah, that's there's the like the Naoto and the Nanako, but those are both like meh. Oh no, I mean specifically for P5 Protag. Like, the Protag deck is fine, but I don't even think it's... I don't think Joker makes it into that deck because you lose out on so much. Anyway. Uh, Return of the Detective Prince, Akechi. It's a 002k. It's got, when your other character is front attacked, you may pay one and put this in the waiting room. If so, return that character to your, to your hand. This card so, got restricted in Monogatari, right? Yeah. Uh, but, um, uh... that's... That's not the important thing. The important thing is that this is literally the return of the Detective Prince, given that that was Naoto in P4. Yeah. Naoto had the exact card, except blue, and with an additional trait. And, and a this... higher rarity. And that higher rarity, correct. And a higher price. <laughs> Much higher price, yes. Uh, Dang. No male dressing trait? Disappointment. Not on this one, no. Well, this uh, is actually male. Main problem with this card is that it's out of trade. It is only detective trade, and that is a pr for reasons we've already talked about regarding brainstorm versus Yukiko. Uh, this one is a formidable effect. Like, there's a few cards you want to bounce back. The next card we're about to talk about is one of those cards. But at the same time, that doesn't warrant playing a card like this because you just can't do anything with it. You can't interact with it. The, tr the traits being off trader is a real brutal for this kind of for this kind of set. Yeah, that's what kills it, really. I, I'm gonna have to give it a niche. There are probably some fringe applications that you can use with it that could justify warranting playing a non-trait character. But overall, it feels like it's not worth the effort. And you're probably it's just, just also not that good simply in this set. Yeah. Like, the only card you want to bounce is the next one. There's also that. I agree. I agree. Uh, there's also the bit where uh, if you want to play a, a card like this, you may as well just play the Naoto. That's also out of trade, and it fixes for a better color. Yeah. But it's like six bucks more. It's only 580 now, I think. It's five side down. Uh, <laughs> I think there were, I think didn't like Japanese stores complain about the reprint of this. Uh, they probably did, but that's their own fault for being idiots and buying into an overhyped card. So I have yeah. no sympathy whatsoever. Harsh, harsh, man, so harsh. Zero Don't worry, they probably made profits what, back on Joker. What, if you're speculating on a card and you guessed wrong, that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Joker probably made the money, like, the money they might have gained of anyway, selling this. But why would you on. make $5 when you could make 10 Like, all profit is good profit. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go on to the next card, which is probably, in my opinion, the best card in the set. Uh, deal made, Ryuji, 0025. When this is placed from hand stage, you may discard a card. If so, you do, choose an advanced notice in your waiting room and add it to your hand. So didn't this, this card get restricted in, like, Nisekoi or something? Except, like, that one was slightly no, better. a similar effect, but the thing is, the Nisekoi one did not have a partner event nearly as strong. Man, if pendants were milk, <laughs> she ice, camera, oh my god. I'm yeah. making, I am making <laughs> memes right now, but Seriously. Yeah. Also, Raku is like a, Raku is better because it's a global. Like, on a vacuum, not if you don't count the event. 
What so the event is obviously a lot better. The event is that you play the 1-0 event and you mill up to 4, choose a phantom thief at the hand. You also make your opponent put a card from their hand into memory. Face down. And then they may draw a card. Yeah, so they put a face down card to memory. Is it me? So or do they have to? Uh, they have to. Isn't one already. No, I mean, if, do they have to draw? They have to draw, right? Uh, yeah, they have no, to draw. they don't have to draw. They may draw. Is it? Well, whatever. Yeah, I think... the point is... <laughs> no, they have to. I remember we talked about it. Up to one card, so they may draw zero. But they have to put a card into memory if there isn't one already. Uh, if there isn't a face down card, rather. And then it also has choose one cost zero or lower character in the opponent's front row and bounce it. So that card effectively bounces a character, which gives one of your level zeros, or this card, one soul. Uh, it, it turns off some counters. Uh, it breaks some walls. It mills four, effectively giving this... Like, if you skip to the end, you've effectively played Azusa, as long as you've had one zero in your game. Uh, the mechanics are, like, slightly different from Azusa, though, because... Uh... You need to play uh, seven to eight cards instead of just four. Well, also in practice, it takes up less slots on the field for more of the effects. So you play the so like theoretically, you play the event, then play this card, then play the event again, and you just got two Azuses for the cost of one weenie on field. Sure. Yeah. This is also five five hundred bigger than Azuses, which is obviously relevant. But um, the problem is this cannot be played at level zero to get full value like normal Azus can. So yeah. that's the weakness. But otherwise, it is for all sex and purposes in the mid game. An Azus clone, and well, I'm sure everyone knows how we feel about those. They're kind of busted. I yeah. think it's probably better than Azus uh, mid game, uh, as far as like, because Azus on field is a very small card. Yeah, and Whereas in mid game, that's yeah, that's a liability. But this card creates open slots inherently, so uh, it has uh, it's modal. It, it, it's like if you're mo if your Azus had to choose one of two, <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. Having the option where your floor is Azusa is just making the card better. Yeah, but this well, way, your floor this is way. not having the one zero event in waiting room and just doing nothing. Yeah, sure. I, at that point, like, I'd be very like disappointed. Azusa, but with a free bounce attached, so it's more like um, Okinami, but you don't have to pay any stock whatsoever. And you still have the character at the very end. Yeah. That's like, insane. This card is good. What's... Yeah... I mean, What's also, you don't only bond to the yellow event, like, this event exists in every color, just the yellow one is the best one. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're The only running, other one yeah. you're reasonably running is the green one. Yeah. They're running four of this, and that's not even, like... Uh, not necessarily, really? but you don't, you don't have I don't know. Room. You, you We're don't... running three yellow, one green. What, well, you mean one blue? Are we talking no, about no, the event I'm or talking the about this character. Here? Yeah, oh, there's another, well, there's like... another bonder you can run in a different color. Oh. I yeah, hate the, I hate the blue one. It just feels so bleh. Wait, there's a blue one? Same effect? Yeah, yeah no, yeah. it's one zero and it gains. It becomes a six five when you play an event. It's supposed to bond to the blue one, which is a counter, but in reality, all you do is bond to the yellow one and make it a six five attacker. Yeah. Wait, 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 I'm so confused. So it has the same effect, but it's a one. It's a one zero, which has ditch bond for advance notice, and when you play an event, ah, uh, I thought it was a zero zero. Never mind. Oh my god, I'd be so happy if it was a zero zero. Well, of course, they'd be pretty no, fixed. I, I think the one zero is actually better. Like if you want to run more, if you want to run more copies of a ditch bond, sure. Because your level zero is already cluttered. You don't have space at level zero. You actually kind of have space at level one. I mean, one, two, it's better for Joker, but you also, like, have a second color at level one, which you don't necessarily want if you're going turbo. I mean, and not not a lot of good colors. Good Notably, guy. you are a little bit strapped on level one anyways, because you're running quite a few level twos, which is abnormal for decks yeah. these days. Anyway, look, I give this card a good meta. Uh, what can I say? It's freaking Azusa, but better. I mean, I'm going to be giving it good plus meta, personally. I, I just... I don't know. Other silver better is is enough good to get that. Better sounds good to me. The event is retarded. Just like it's just I'm so dumb. It good. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it meta. Wait, wait, but some builds don't even run the package. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, but some builds are bad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. The only like, the only builds like... that don't run the package and are good are execution. 
Uh, like the thing is, the thing is, like the package is like so, like you even said earlier, the deck has a s s space issue, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue to say that the package is like the package is definitely crazy. It's really good, but the reason it's not meta is because like some people just don't run the package, and it's like not even the deck doesn't get that much worse when you run the package. Yeah, I think it does get that much worse. This card is the event is insane. So I, I don't agree. Know. I don't know. You take away the ability to just turbo refresh at one three. And then you probably have like four or five stock, nearly full hand, and some amount of field. That's really good. Fair enough. Ah, I'd, I'd run it. I'll just say that. I'd run it. I used like, to not run it. We are opinionated here. Some people might not agree, and that's fine. Feel free not to agree. But it's my opinion that this card is just the reason to play Persona 5. Well, this card I is one think... of but we'll get to it. Yeah. I don't think this is actually the meta card for the set, but that can be it's a good card. Uh, all right. All right, sure. Uh, next card, Fated Imprisonment Protagonist. It's a 2 one 5k, sort of a level X. All right, so f um, first sort ability... Sort of a level X. I'll go with the level X ability first. Uh, during your turn, all your characters gain, in front of this, gain X power, where X is 1,000 times that character's level. And then all of your other protagonists in our scene, Joker, gain 500 power and the ability during your turn, when the battle opponent of this is reversed, look at the top card of your deck and put it either on top or in the waiting room. So this is the uh, support that Silver MV alluded to earlier that lets you dig an extra card deep. Gets the 14-5. Uh, pretty sweet. Yeah, it gets to 14-5. Um, yeah, this is an auto include in any deck running Joker and significant amounts of yellow otherwise. Are you running I, more than one? That's the question. Some people are running two. I don't disagree with that. Any higher than that, I think, is a bit strange. I only yeah. have one. I think I, I might have... push it up, but I don't know if I will. I have two. Like That's the kind of effect that seems really good to have two of. You won't see it every game at two. You'll see it enough that it's not a problem. I think part yeah, of the problem the, with running this at the, lower counts is that your deck doesn't actually search a lot. Search, yeah, search a lot. You're basically milling. You're hoping you get this off the event or brainstorm and get this right. So, so Smash a brainstorm. I think yeah. having the second copy is important just to secure it. I think this is the kind of card that you want on your field almost every end game. You have there's it's, one problem though. A lot of the time, you'd rather have brainstorm and another specific support. Sure. Uh, it's yeah. really a matter of space, too. Like, yeah. The deck. I, I don't think this card is necessary every single game, but I think it's a very serviceable card, and oftentimes it's what you want to have. It's also just a level 2 play. If you have level 2 cards, or level... You, there is an advanced summon which benefits from this immensely, because it defends itself on the opponent's turn, but has no real power on your turn. Yeah, and the extra so pump is this nice. Card is, this card is just good in general, I still don't know if it's the plan every game because I'm the sort of person who just wants to sit on his big pile of stuff. The wait, 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 first wait, effect wait. does have diminishing returns, oh. though. Never mind. It is. What? What the... do you want to say? Uh, I like. I was like, which early play is strong <laughs> on the opponent's turn and weak on my own turn, and then I just realized. <laughs> oh my god. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That'd be awesome. Dude. I'll forgive you because you just woke up, but. This card, is, this card is merely playable, but I think it's important. I don't know if it's that player, but it's certainly playable. You can even go without it. I mean, like, a lot of us are going without it here, just because, like... Like, I don't know, like, I, I realize that sometimes you need the power, but the actual effect is very marginal, like, hella marginal, dude, like... I don't think you can get the Joker, like, if you ever wanted to get use the Joker's finishing effect, you'll never do it without this card against a lot of the field. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. basically my opinion here. Trigger wind and win. I mean, not it's everyone true. can be a yeah. god, apparently. Like yeah, This card also helps you trigger climax. So that's true. It does help you trigger win, so... I mean, it does help, help you trigger pants, pants which is the more relevant one. <laughs> this, card is, this card is more than fine, man. We'll leave it back. Solid role player. It makes your other Interestingly under enough, you actually trigger. want to trigger pants. <laughs> yeah. In and some situations. Joker. Isn't it called gate? You pleb? No, it's pants. That's the official term now. No arguments. Ryuji in swimsuits, 002k. During your opponent's turn, when this becomes reversed in battle, you may pay costs. 
which is one. If so, rest this and at the start of your next encore step, put this in the waiting room. Uh, where's this the swimsuit? Te- it's technically a one cost plus. Technically. Still garbage. If you value here, to swim for one soul for one turn as one cost. <laughs> so- I don't I don't see a swimsuit in this hard arts. Coming out I'm, of the closet. I, I'd like to point out that you can't just chain this. You can't go run this in, pay one, and then next turn do the exact same. Because... Because it's rest this. Yeah, just because of, cause of the time timing, basically. Because even if you rest this card the next turn, it'll still just go to the waiting room at the encore step. Would you uh, even play this even if you could chain it? I don't think so. No, no, you wouldn't. I'm just pointing out a little rules thing. For those people playing either sports decks that want to meme, or who just want to meme because that's that's their thing. Uh, I think regardless, like even in the sports deck, you don't play this, right? There, there, no, no, you do no. not. There yeah, so th- this card has got it. It's gonna get a bad for me. It, if this it could actually, if it could kill something, then maybe. But it's two thousand power. I think giving it bad is actually kind of harsh. I don't think so. When are you ever playing this? I would prefer. I'm a not sure, but it's a, like. I would play the 3k Chie Vanilla over this card and Play it against bombs and get value. Okay. <laughs> I would no, play you the, can't, I because would if play you bomb on your Chie turn... Yukata. Like... <laughs> even Chie Yukata is actually decent. Card. Yeah, there are better cards even in those scenarios. And then, look, I, I can't fathom a world where I'm playing this in any deck. And sure. I'm never making Yuji Waifu, so... No. <laughs> Okay, Ryuji Waifu, there we have it. <laughs> Goro Akechi, 002k. When this is placed from hand to stage, check the top two cards of your deck and put them back in that order, and check the top two cards from your opponent's deck and put them back in that order. Maybe it's because I've been playing Mortal Kombat recently, but I heard Goro Akechi, and I assume like a much bigger, older dude. Uh, that, well... Flavor. Uh, that's fair enough. Uh... This is flavorful, he's a detective and stuff. Uh, he looks at your opponent's deck and then your deck. I mean, this is neat, but again, off trait, in a color that already has plenty of fixing, and just not an impactful enough effect to make up for the opportunity cost of not running like your third uh, Skull Azusa thing, or your third or fourth Brainstorm, or whatever. Like, there's lots of good zeros in Persona 5. Sure. I think it's niche. I- I think I it would think... be interesting if it was on trade, if you'd run it. Probably would... still not, but then it would I still be think interesting. I'd this out. Yeah. I still think this is like bad because it's off trade. Even if it was on trade, I'd only ever give it like a niche, because that effect I don't value very highly. I I would still give it a niche. I think there are probably enough niche applications for this kind of card that I can see it being like a one or two of if it was tutorable. Uh, even when it's not. If you have it, sometimes it'll be useful. You can make some dank execution plays where you, like, see their top card as a climax, so you play Chidori first, and then you just go to town, and then they eat seven and you win with execution. Living the dream. I'm going to be... Now, let's move on. Protagonist in swimsuit, 0025. I don't see a swimsuit in this one either. Sorry? I don't see a swimsuit in this one either. Maybe that's yeah. the point. This is false I advertising. I heard this game is homoerotic, right? Like, there you can have a gay route, right? It's, a uh, Boku no Pico. You couldn't, yeah. uh, I, I haven't played P5 yet. You couldn't do homoerotic route in P3 and P4, pretty well, sure. Now I know what you're going to do first, Christian. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so it's kanji. Your typical drop searcher. I don't think it merits seeing play because you have plenty of good discard outlets. You have several good cost outlets and lots more if you want them. I just don't see a reason to play this card. I think between Even the Brainstorm you... and the Event Salvager, yeah. I think, I think you're covered. I don't want to spend stock for this is the main part. Yeah. You do kind of want to search, but not enough to play this card. Yeah. yeah. I, it's still playable. <laughs> it's just like you might not run it. That's the thing. These cards are always playable, but I don't think you run it. Like, I wouldn't yell at you too much for running it, but I don't think your deck is made so much worse that I call this bad. That's the thing. Yep. 
Right. Next card. Um, so these two cards are a pair. So I'm going to talk about them as a pair. Phantom Thief in Black Outfit and Hidden Shadows Protagonist. Uh, they're both 104Ks. When they come to stage, either from the waiting room or from your hand, you choose the other card and put it underneath this as a marker. And then, uh, so the first one, um, Phantom Thief in Black, gains 3K power if the character opposite is green or red. Hidden in Shadows does the same for yellow and blue characters. And they change to each other costlessly. So basically, you get 7Ks depending on what you're facing. Uh, yeah, you're not uh, running this ever. No. The only reason you're not running this, to be honest, is because it takes 8 slots, which is a lot. Plus Canon your returns. Gets, like, your opponent gets to choose what... Um, if they run multiple colors that aren't, like, specifically green, red, slash yellow, blue, then they get to choose what they put up to this, and at that point you've got 104Ks, which is pretty pathetic. Like, if they're running, for instance, Nisekoi... <laughs> It's very awkward. Pretty much. Like, you're giving them free Marika combos on the ones that are uh, weak to red, and then the ones that are weak to, um, yellow. Weak to yellow just get stomped. By six I think these cards are bad. I think you're running them. You're, you're not running other... You're not running a better package. Better cards. Exactly. Because it takes so much room. So much room. And I, I agree with this. I think the whole thing is waifu because the cards look cool. They do look cool. Like I'd use them as ADH uh, tokens or something, but no. But that what 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 one zero white token is there? Well, I mean, right now I've got one ones, two twos, and three threes in my tokens deck. Yeah, like but what about one three... zeros that are white? Uh, I mean, I just use them as extra one ones. Like Wait, one zeros ones. don't even exist. Uh, there is a don't, blue elemental they... one zero made by Master of Waves. Yeah. Wait, they, yeah, they are, so right. actually, that, that's true, and they have they have plus one plus one because of muscle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so one zero tokens do exist. Declaration of War, Ryuji, Skull. Uh, during your turn, if this is in the front row center slot, this gains four K. And during your turn, when you reverse something with this, you may swap a standing character in the front row with this. If you do, choose one character, and that character gains one soul for the turn. Uh, so this is another thing uh, that Persona 5's introduced on reverse swapping. So a lot of people have been thinking about how this card is, how this effect is good. Basically what it does is it means you don't have to fight one lane if that's what you choose. Uh, you, can beat up on, um, you can beat up on one lane by um, having one card attack and then swapping with a weak card to either side or whatever because uh, that card's already reversed. And that way, if your opponent has one massive lane and then some small lanes, you still have three characters to sponge damage with. As a point of reference, if you front a, res a reverse card, you still fight. It is Yes, you still fight, your opponent still has the chance to counter, and if their power is bigger post-counter, or if their power is bigger period, you still die. So, this one I think is better than the other one, simply because of the one soul. Uh, but I still don't think there's any room to run this card. I don't, yeah, I don't think you need this. I don't think the one soul is worth running this. To be honest, that's probably where I'm at on this, as far as the opinion The mechanic wise. is basically trying to copy one more. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. More. Which is cute. Um, like, it's like, like, fine. I, I don't think you ever play this, but, like, the effect is fine. It's like a 1-0-8 like one... K center. I think it gets yeah, a playable like, minus. I feel that's, like, kind of neat. But I don't think I'd do it myself. I'd go straight playable. I'm gonna go with playable minus. I don't think you need this. Playable kind of minus seems fine, yeah. Yep. I actually rate this the same as the one for a UG65. I wouldn't be too surprised if this took the space of one of them. Sure. Uh, next card uh, Yuki Mishima. It's a 1 1 2k counter. Uh, you've already got enough yellow. Uh, this is a costed counter that does pretty much the same thing as a costless counter. This is bad. Yeah, you have a costless 2k counter, right? So, yeah, yeah, you don't run this. Have 1 1 2k counters ever been good? Yes, they're good in certain decks that run eight gates and want to have counters at level one. 
Um, Yukiko. So that way, <laughs> yeah, like Yukiko. So that way you can option select into paying out a gate that you lost. <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, one one but I actually, I run, triggers. I run one Fuka counter in my Yukiko deck purely for that exact reason, and it's actually helped. Wait, it's are you not running the Yukiko, uh, the Yukari counter for flavor reasons? I should be running Yukari, but Fuka is a better character than Yukari is. I'm not sure I agree with that, but sure. <laughs> All right, moving onward. Yukari's a bitch. Uh, current high school detective Akechi is a 228k. If you have two more of a fan of thief characters, this gains 2k power. So we've got a 2210k uh, with two soul. There's no demerit there, which is kind of neat. So what's the demerit? When this is placed from stage to waiting room, choose an, choose one of your Phantom Thief characters and put it in the waiting room. It's a bad. <laughs> I mean, it's bad because you just don't need a two two ten k. If this yeah, card is reversed, is by, like the the drawback doesn't matter. If this card's reversed in battle, uh, then you can just choose another character which was probably reversed as well, and that card will die. That card was dying anyway, so that's yep. fine. Uh, but there's just no need for a two two ten k in my opinion. Uh, plus, if your opponent ever nukes this, like with, say, Railgun, well, <laughs> Sad days. I got some news for you, friend. Anyways, moving on to the to the event. Yep. Work hard. It's the better yellow event. Advance notice. It's a 1-0. Uh, there's, if there's no face-down card in your opponent's memory, your opponent chooses a card in his or her hand and sends it to memory, then draws up to one card. Not that they'd ever not draw, unless they knew it was a climax on top somehow. Look it up to four cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one Phantom Thief character, add it to your hand, put the rest in the waiting room. You may choose a cost zero or lower character in your opponent's front row and bounce to the hand. It's Chihaya's camera, but better? This card, uh, be this card is actually over spec. This card uh, should be over spec. Events don't have power, man. This yeah, but like it has, it has more. Effects tacked onto it than it should have as a 1 0 event. I agree. This card should be costed even though your opponent gets to, like, they get to, uh. Sort of filter in their hand? They, they get to, um, they get to discard one and draw a card. Uh, like, I don't call it a filter because you can't exactly put a climax in with 100% certainty that they'll get it back ever. Sure, I was I was making some funny 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 comments. A friend comments. of mine actually did that, and it never and like I didn't draw the support, and it <laughs> never got out. But uh, nice. I was just making a note that there's some like funny things that involve with putting cards in the face down memory that they probably had to write some new rules about, because there are certain they cards. That, yeah, they did. Yeah. But like before, like all of the cards checked is that if the cards were in memory at all, not if you could see them. The cards in memory have no text. For example, even if it is a climax, you don't know that, and therefore three two Ray Zen doesn't know that. Yes. Uh, it is a card in memory, so it does count as a card for the purposes of things like Junpei and Chie, uh, from PQ. But it does it's not a specific type of card. It's not an event, it's not a character, it's not a climax, it is just a card. That being said, the card will probably get cycled quite quickly because we have a number of good cards which all require you to use it up as cost. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, okay, fine, there's one. I like the Makoto, but it's not good in theory. Uh, I mean, in practice, it's not good. It's fine in theory, but theory is weird. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, this event is insanity. This event, this event is part of the good meta rating I gave to what's-his-name, so I'm giving this the same rating. That's fair. Yes. Yeah. Good card. I think this is... I, I feel like, yeah, if you're not running the full set this package. I think it's worth the all eight cards. I don't know. Maybe you want only seven. I, I could even see running some copies of the one zero blue card. It's one zero, right? Yeah. Yeah. I could even see seeing some of that just because. Mm -hmm. You could run eight Azusas. Exactly. So it's kind of twelve even. Yeah, because you still have these four copies in your deck. <laughs> play play four of this then so, yeah, four this, of the yellow. Yeah, this card is insane. Four of the blue. So what you do is you play four events, you play four Azusas, and then you use the last spot to play the 2 1. Probably the best. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. Next up. Significantly worst card, I think. Yep. 
All right, so this next card is a 1-1 uh, Wild Talk. If you have no Phantom Thief characters, you cannot play this from your hand. Oh, no. Choose one of the following effects. So you only get one. Search your deck for up to one Phantom Thief and add it to your hand. Put this card in your stock, then put the top card of your deck in your stock. Or all of your characters gain one soul for the turn. It's Phantom Thief Charm. <laughs> uh, except it, none of the effects are as good as actual charms. I don't know, I was man. playing this today. Like Celestia today, Charm I'm... is pretty medium. He was playing this card, and he, like, got... He got off triple Joker in two games. And he didn't use any of the Joker effects as he won on the tax. But, I don't know. That's Did he just it. use it to stock charge, or what? Yeah, he just uses a stock charge. His whole deck was, like, he's, he was playing, like... He was playing Skull Combo, because it's, like, a stock soul, right? Like, I don't know. Jesus. That sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, his dad was like super Joker focused. He was playing like a bunch of two two events. I don't even know what to do. Kill him? Wait, <laughs> two two events? He was he was playing Jack Frost and some red two two event or two. That was the salvage two event, or was it the killer character event? No clue, dude. I didn't play against him. I just was next to him, and he had three Joker. I'm Joker's pretty sure field. it wasn't Reaper. Oh God. Reaper was Reaper is a 2-1, isn't it? That's just the burn one? No, Reaper is to kill a character. The burn one is a 2-1. The burn one is Salvation. I actually it's... run Salvation in some decks. Um, nice. Anyways, back to this card. Uh, none of the modes are It's interesting are because it's modal, appealing. it's also bad. All of these modes are... Just not good. Like, aside from the two stop effect, they're all zero cost effect. They're, I think they're all zero cost um, effects. And being modal does not warrant the extra cost because none of the modes are good. Like, put it this way versatility is valuable, but only when you can be versatile and all of the modes of versatility are good. If you're versatile and have like three mediocre mo modes, that's worse than being single-minded, single-track, but only having, um, but having an incredibly powerful single mode. Like that's why people play Tree of Primus. It does the same thing every single game, but that thing is better than what, say, Execution Toolbox did every game, which was, uh, uh well, Toolbox. I, mean, I played that deck and I still don't know what it does. <laughs> you sometimes it's, uh, play Execution. If it's a one-zero, it would be like. A bit better. If it was a 1-0, it because... would be very good. Yeah, because you can stock charge too, which yeah. is obviously the strongest like, mode. One's would be broken, right? It would, even, yeah, broken. even having a 1-0, like, extra soul pump, like, that's useful sometimes. If it was 1-0 to gain 2 stock, I think that might be broken standard, to be honest. <laughs> Who cares about standard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do agree. Who cares about standard? <laughs> By the way, we need to cut this video now so we can say that the show is over. Because that's the next card. He doesn't save climaxes. I don't I don't get the climaxes. But uh that is it for yellow. The show's yeah. over. So show's we, over. we'll be right yeah. back with Green? Green is next, right? Green is after yellow. Alright. 